One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Cliché start, I know. But when Neil Armstrong and the rest of the crew of Apollo 11 stepped onto the moon on July 20th, 1969, it sure was an incredible feat for man. However, it was only because of one very incredible woman that they were even able to land. Margaret Hamilton was born on August 17th, 1936 in Powley, Indiana, in the United States of America. She graduated high school in 1954 and went straight off to study mathematics at Erlen College. After graduating and working as a teacher for a few years, she got a job at MIT developing software. Apparently, this is a really easy job that even women could do. During this time, she worked on code for predicting and forecasting weather systems and was the first person on the team to get one particularly tricky piece of code to actually work. Due to this, she got assigned to work on an unmanned Apollo mission. But of course, back in the day, women couldn't be trusted with anything too important. She was assigned to develop software in case the mission aborted, which was never going to happen. It did. Margaret's code came in very handy. Her work kept her on the missions, working in error detection and recovery. So if, for example, an astronaut pressed the wrong button, or the system overloaded, the computer would work it out and not completely shut down. Things like this happened a few times over the next few missions, but most famously, three minutes before humans were set to walk on the moon for the very first time. As the computer for the Apollo 11 was trying to land the lunar module, it got interrupted by the rendezvous radar, which was being used by the landing module to know where the command module was. As a result, the computer was being asked to do way more calculations than it could handle and overloaded. Margaret's code is what told the computer to prioritise its operations, which was very uncommon for computers at the time. Her code instructed the computer to finish landing on the moon before worrying about the rendezvous radar. And three minutes later, humanity had some awesome pictures sent back. Margaret Hamilton continued to work for NASA and MIT for many more years, before leaving to form her own company, Hamilton Technologies, in 1986. Along with helping on the world's first portable computer, Margaret has developed asynchronous programming, which is what helps your computer have multiple programs running at the same time, developed technology to help translate code between different programs, and coined the term software engineering to give the field the credit it deserves. Margaret Hamilton challenged a completely male-dominated field and has shown there is no reason women shouldn't be a part of it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Margaret Hamilton is the very first in my new series, Women of Wonder, that I'm starting to celebrate wonderful women who work in STEM fields and show us that girls can do anything. So let me know who you think should be the next Woman of Wonder in the comments below and help me showcase the amazing feats of women in science, tech, engineering and maths. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep wondering.